spilled juice on my shirt. Of course you did, you grubby little fuck. Lulu. What? It just came out. Sorry. That's fine. <clears throat> now, you told me in what? the car again today that you had something very oh. funny to start the podcast with. Well, you'll find it funny. I, I, I find it funny now because I didn't actually go through with it. But if I hadn't sent it to someone, I would have done it. Please elaborate. The toll roads. What? I got another text saying that I owed money for the toll roads. Remember mm-hmm. how I got caught up in that scam? Oh, yeah. And I got another text and I followed through. No, you it. fucking didn't. Yeah, well, it looks legit. It's green and white. Oh, my God. It looks real. You know what I mean? It's green and white. What the fuck does that mean? Well, it looked like a proper website. If anyone t- sends you any text saying you owe money, fuck them. But they had my number plate. Sure, it's not real, buddy. Don't click on. Well, don't cli- click on links. I clicked through. I nearly went to pay, and then I screenshot and sent it to someone, and he was like, "Mate, that's scam. You spam, are- scam, spam, scam, same yeah. shit." And I was like, "No, it feels legit." He was uh, like, "It's not legit." <sighs> Why do you think it feels legit? Can I show your screenshot? Show on me that? it. Why do you think it feels legit? Because it looks. Maybe yeah, maybe because they want it to look. Legit, Louisa? Honestly, a bank could call me and tell me I owe money and I'd pay it. I just don't pay anyone I think, anything. I still think it's real. Fake. Well, I looked on my proper like toll website mm-hmm. and it said that I didn't know anything. There you go, bud. But that looks real. You're going to tell this me This is a very good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if anyone's and sending you links. And how'd they get Gianni's number plate? Fuck knows. How'd they get that junk on the trunk? Who knows? How'd they get that little booty ass? But that doesn't... How'd they get that fat ass? How'd they get that ass twerking number plate? Unst, unst. <laughs> Gianni's ass looks good in his new home. His new garage. His little butt poking out. Ooh, <laughs> there's Gianni. <laughs> beep, beep. Little king of Rose Bay. Ooh, that's my ass. That's my fat ass. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's wrong with you, mate? It's my fat ass with my little number pl- what, what? What is... Honestly, um, honestly. No, 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 no. Do you have a neurological disorder? Well, well, I've got a tumour in my well, brain. Well, aside from the... So... <laughs> thanks, champion. <laughs> yeah, forgot about that old chestnut. I knew as soon as that came out of your mouth, I was like, all right, this is where we're going. Yeah, I'm was, taking it there. It was immediate regret from me. I saw you, I was like, oh, <laughs> she got a tumour. Oh, but there's, besides uh, that, there's a lot uh, wrong with me. Could I take something? Yes, you can. I don't think that glass has been washed, and I think that's had alcohol in it. Really? And now I've put my coffee in it. Perfect. It tastes like, it tastes like tequilary bourbon <coughs> Really? Tequilary bourbon Mummy likey. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey kid, it's Tuesday morning. Yeah. What better time? Now, where have we just been? We uh, popped in for a... The light brows of Martin Place, CBD Central Sydney. Because there'll be a video coming, Bedwetters, but it's going to be a good video. About a month ago, rough as guts. Jarch and I went to the driving range at Moore Park, and we swung a few clubs, had a yeah. few hits, and I won. I was the best golfer. So this was Jarch's punishment that he had to hold up some signs in the middle of Martin Place. Can I just paint a picture for you? It's eight a.m. There is a solid like. 1,000 people coming in and out of that train station. Like, it was packed. And Jarch has uh, jumped between two signs, one that says normalise adult bedwetting and one that says I still Still wet the bed. bed. Yep. And and that was hilarious. A lot of giggles, a lot of laughs, a lot of cameras filming. It was rough. It was rough as guts. It was... (sighs) But then you just think to yourself, fuck, if we can do that, we can do anything. Yeah. People are just looking, like some people look at you like a fire engine drove past and this bird was in the back seat. Crowning upon us. And she looked at me and she was just like, what the fuck, dickhead. Yeah. And I was like, damn it, now my serv- our servicemen hate me. Yeah. Um, and women, so she was a service woman. So I was like, great, they hate me. Um, perfect. That's a great start to the day. And then obviously Martin Place is a big, you know, it's a CBD, so a lot of suits. So everyone looking suits. slick, looking smick going to work and I'm there standing there holding a fucking sign saying normalised bedwetting and I still with the bed. Um, it was a tough experience. Yeah, and then you decided, let's stitch Lulu up as well. 
Well, you stitched yourself up oh, yeah. by saying, I think I should hold the sign too at some point. Props to you. So, bedwetters, what does Lou hate more than anything in this world? Physical touch by the ones that love her. So imagine physical touch from strangers. <laughs> imagine how much she's going to enjoy that. Let me give you that tip. Not a lot. Mummy so, didn't like it. Mummy, your mummy, by the way. <laughs> so she fucking, so she's like, surprise me with my sign. Tell me, like, just make my sign a surprise. And I was going to do, like, influencing is really hard. Like, mm. hot girl laps is hard I yakka hard. or something like that. Mm. And I thought, no, no, let's be a little creative here. What does she hate, purely hate? And it's any form of love or physical touch. So I went, beautiful. So her sign said in huge capital letters, free hugs. Hey, I, got, I got three. You got three. Three strangers touching me. And then you were, then you basically threw in the towel and said, that'll fucking do. So that's enough. You said, and I don't need any of these peasant pieces of shit touching me. Sire, <laughs> ring the bell. <laughs> they free hugs is over. <laughs> like, the, the last hug. No, the first hug. I was like, bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah, yeah. She was doing it through good taste. She was going... Yeah, just come on in. This is perfect. Yeah, yeah, give me a I hug. Love this. Your eyes were dead. Mm. Now, who'd you see? Who'd you see on the, when you were giving out free hugs? So I'm middle of Martin Place. <laughs> this is torture. 8 a.m., peak time. Yeah. Coming out of the train station, walking straight towards me, right in my eye line, is my ex boyfriend and his new girlfriend. <laughs> holding hands, strutting along Martin Place together and there's the big dog LDD holding a sign that says, free hugs. Fuck me, it was funny, bro. And because l- Lou was like, oh my God, she goes, oh my God. She goes, fuck Josh. She's like ex- my ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend or his girlfriend or whatever. And I was like, get fucked. And then Lou just does the most awkward, like she sees it, him and she sort of looks at him and then just goes and just lifts up her hand oh. in this really quick wave like, oh. hi. <laughs> it was Yuck, I can't watch it back and Tob's got it all on film. Ironically enough, I was the one being punished, but you got punished the most today. 100%. At least it was like, it's my boyfriend, the one who was from Cronella. So this is solid like four years You mean ago. Cronella? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I thought oh. you might have just misspoke today when she said it to us, Tobbs. Cronella. Cronella. I thought it was somewhere international maybe. Oh, no, yeah. it's from the Shire. Right. Cronella de- Deville. <laughs> That's why you've, you've, you've confused Cruella de Vil and Cronulla. Do you reckon they would have walked off and been like, ugh, yuck, poor Lou. <laughs> no, I actually <laughs> saw I saw a look in his eyes of lost love. <laughs> <laughs> Just spat my water all over yeah. myself. Yeah. Nah, that ship is well and really <laughs> sailing. But it was... um. Anyway, Bet, where there's a video will come out with that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'd be looking forward to it if I was you, Bet, would it? Mate, speaking of mortifying situations, mm. have I spun that yarn how when oh, I was a kid? You can't drink your <clears throat> coffee. That's pure alcohol. Fair. Have I spun that yarn to you when I was a kid <clears throat> and I pretended to be Irish on a train? No. Nah. So me and my mate Alex Butt were going on this, I think it was the train from like Walker to... Was it B-U-T-T? <clears throat> Yeah. Did he have a fat ass? Have a big yeah, I actually used to call him Gianni. And I said, poke that little thing out of that you garage, said, get Alex. Get chunk out of that, yeah, that chunk, chunk out of that trunk, trunk Alex. Alex. Get that little butt out here, <laughs> yeah, Gianni too. It was, and I'd, I'd really, really love you to stop teasing my friend for his last name. It's just disgraceful. That's called, that's called bullying. So sorry. So me and my mate Alex, we're going on this train ride from somewhere. And we just used to do shit that we thought was funny, being teenagers, just to make each other laugh. So I'm on the, this train going, I can't remember how, it was a long trip. And I've walked up and I'm like, oh, Roy, how you going? Um, have you got any chips, Roy? Could I have some fucking chips? Is that a Roy? Pretending to be Irish. Now he's giggling because I'm pretending to be Irish. And as you can hear, Bedwetters and Tobbs and Lou in the room with me. You're quite good at it. No, I'm not Irish. Oh, yep. yes. Yeah, you guys know that. Correct. You're, Correct. you're Australian. So that's from the, the bush. From the bush. Is that I'm right? right? You're yeah. from the bush. From the bush. Yeah. And you used to work in. Did you yeah. learn that when I called up on that breakfast radio show that time? Correct. Yes. You were in breakfast Correct. radio. Yes. Anyway. You're a little so Irish I'm boy, aren't you? Aren't you? So I'm pretending to be Irish. I'm ordering. I was like, oh, Alex, what, what would you like to eat? You want some chips? Oh, Roy, can I get two packets of chips, please? And um, could I also get. Uh, we'll get two cokes. 
Two cokes, Roy Grant. Thank you. Appreciate it. So good at that. This bird was doing the trolley. She, I get this tap on the shoulder. She goes, excuse me? And I went, hello. And she goes, are you from Ireland? And I went, oh, no. And I, I'm like, yep. And I'm starting to panic now. So I'm probably like losing a bit of the act. I'm going, I was like, are you sure I'm from Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh, God, I, I've been here for... Um, four years now, I haven't met a single Irish person since I've been here. Oh, this is such a blessing. And I'm like, oh, fuck. fuck. And Alex is pissing himself. And I'm like, he can see me going red. And I'm like, holy shit. Anyway. This poor woman. Oh, mate. But I had to you go along asshole. with it. I had to go along with it. And so I noticed she kept coming, walking up our way so she could chat to me. So she'd walk up the aisle and she's like, would you like anything, dear? And I'm like, oh, I'm all right. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> it got to the point where I had to pretend to be asleep because she's she'd go um she'd go what do you think of the pies over here and I go oh they're all right and I'm thinking what the fuck are the pies like I haven't never been to Ireland in my life I mean what the fuck are the pies like over there and then I think she started to catch on because she goes she's like so whereabouts from Ireland are you from and I'd only known that my I think my brother was in the north of Ireland. And my family's from a place called Inniskillen, which is the north of Ireland. Mm. So I said, oh, from around Inniskillen. Now, if you'll note, ladies and gentlemen, bedwetters, the north of Ireland and the south of Ireland have completely different accents. So I'm going, so I'm like, if I was from the south of Ireland, I'd say, um, all right, daddy, can we jump in the car and go down a road? In the north, it's like, daddy, can we go? Like down the road, oh. like yous or yous are right, daddy, okay. like that. It's very different. So I've told this bird it that sounds like some TV show. From you know, Peaky Blinders, the um Sam Neil. Thus, yes. as not acceptable. I've spoke about that. Yeah, correct. So there's a huge difference in accents. So I've told her I'm from the north while speaking in a c completely southern accent, and she started to catch on, and she sort of gave me this funny look. She's like, really, and then I start to panic. And so for the rest of the train ride, I just put my jumper over me myself like this and just – I had to pretend to be asleep for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrific. And horrific. You're, you're like stuck you – can't, you can't back out of that. Like I if, if you'd gone, oh, I'm just pretending, like she would have been like – Mortified. Heartbroken. Hundreds. I couldn't back out of it. Asshole. So I had to pretend to be asleep for like two – that is some mortifying shit. Absolute asshole. You ever done anything like that? Oh, I mean, I've got too many good accents that... Yeah, know. true, actually. You, yep. The thing about you, People darling... People would just... They wouldn't even second guess it. Well, Lou, that's the thing. If you were to do it... <laughs> you're hey, so love. good I'm at from it. Ireland. Can I get a packet of chips and two corks? Two what? Corks. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like I said corks. Yeah, it sounded like you were proposing two guys for a good old time. Um, <laughs> packet of chips and two corks. <laughs> I like my cocks hot. I'd have two hot cocks if you got it. <laughs> Warm up the cocks for me, boys. I'll be there in a second. Speaking of chippies, you know what I'm going to do when I get home? Eat chips. I saw it on TikTok. This girl gets gherkins and then crushes up like Cheetos. And then she dips the gherkins, because the gherkins are a bit wet. She dips the gherkins in the crushed up Cheetos. <laughs> eats them. How delicious does that sound? That sounds like, you know what that sounds like, Judge? It sounds like lunch for mummy. <laughs> Vegetables. Hey, can I just clarify? And carbs. Mate, can I just clarify quickly? Who's mummy in this scenario? I'm mummy, by the way. Okay. Well, Lou, can I raise something from you from an earlier podcast? Please raise one. I'm going to raise something from an earlier podcast. I decided to let my guard down a little bit, which I rarely do, with you. And I told you how I used to eat Cheetos, how I used to crush up the packet and then dip my fingers in and suck my fingers, right? Fingers are just a human pickle appendage. Oh, now, so I'm what sorry, is the fucking senorita. difference from crushing up Cheetos, exactly how I used to, you tore strips off me, dipping the pick. I'm putting a vegetable in there. Yeah. Not my grubby little fingers that have been God knows where all day. Well, your grubby little fingers, not mine. <laughs> I don't mind them I'm going to step back. And not bring this podcast into the gutter for a change. Thank now God, listen I know up. exactly where you were saying now, my now finger li had <laughs> Now listen up, senorita. Yep. 
You fucking tore strips off me for crushing up Cheetos and dipping and licking. It's so You're crushing different. up Cheetos and dipping and licking. Yeah, but I'm dipping a good. What's the diff? It's a vegetable. I'm not dipping my fingers and licking them. What's the diff? I'm putting a gherkin straight in my mouth and eating, eating it. it. And eating. This is the. I'm one. not sucking the Cheeto off. I'm dipping the gherk <laughs> in the cheek. I didn't know that guy was nickname was Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dipping the gherkin in the cheese and taking it out and going, and then probably eating the rest of the gherk, unless I've got a big packet that I don't have to get my fingers to cheat are we? If If you're going to tell me for one second that you're not going to dip a little gherk in the Cheeto and go like this. I'm not. You're off your head. I'm going straight for the bite. It'll be the crunch and the sweet and savoury. Texture and flavours that I'm looking for. Hypocrisy, thy name is Louisa Dalton. Now she's all about the Doth crunch Cheetos. Rises she, she's all about the fucking Cheetos. Now she's all some influencer TikTok fucking dickhead do it. But when you're her best mate, Jarchi, who she spends every you single put day your with. fingers in the packet and yeah. you probably shared them round? No. Well, go on. You know, you know me, buddy. Sharing food. Come. True. Come now. Something you will like. I'm jumping around here, but you're going to like it. Okay. Guess what? I saw at the supermarket yesterday. They got little shapes packets. With che- you know you get like cheese and crackers at the supermarket? They now do shapes with cheese at the bottom. That's huge because I have to make my own shape and cheese. No, you go straight to Coles Vaucluse. You walk straight down the aisle, Judge. Go down the cracker aisle. You know the cracker aisle? Do you think it's just think it's specifically aisle four, Coles Vaucluse? And you walk straight down that cracker aisle and you will see bang smack in the middle. A little bacon and cheese and a little barbecue and cheese. Packet, you Pizza grab a few. and cheese, crimpy and cheese, what are we talking about? I only saw the two. Interesting. I only okay. saw the two. I'm sure they make them. I don't mind the bacon. you chuck those in your, in, your plastic, in your plastic basket and you walk that straight up to the self-serve and you beep those and you beep those and you put them in and you put them in your bag and you walk on home and you go up to your man cave and you have a little nib. It just took you fucking 43 minutes to tell me to buy shapes with cheese. You're <laughs> creating a story. It <laughs> just took you 47... 47 minutes. Should we do hotline? Yeah, well, we're done. Took up. Oh, that, just, that just took up. I don't think we have enough time for hotline. Oh, yeah, okay, we're done then. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Perfect. All right, well, thanks, guys. Um, yeah. No, that's, that's really good stuff. That's really good stuff because I have to create my own shape and cheese, mm. you know, which isn't that hard. Not it's anymore. not like I'm flat out these days. <laughs> But I mean, oh, Lou, I've got to go home. I've got to cut some slices of cheese <laughs> and open my packet of shade. And you're like, yeah, Dal, look, maybe I we'll it. film later. I'm flat out as well. I've just got to go home and watch my new painting TV. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so the apartment's looking good. It looks phenomenal. I don't think I'll leave. Do you know, I said to. Um, I said to someone the other day, you know what I might get? I might get from Amazon. You can get these walking pads. So it's like a treadmill, but it doesn't have a handlebar. So I just I thought you meant like a um a walking ta- tampon. Yeah, I thought you meant like a tampon on legs. So it just walks to the bathroom for me. Hey, said, you ready? You hey, ready, Lulu? Do you know what I learned the other day? I haven't finished my story. Go. And then come back to yours. Yeah. Remember it. Yeah. Stick it in your brain. Yeah. I said I wanted to get one of these walking pads so then when I want to watch TV, I can just do some hot girl laps inside. And he was like, I'm going to say no to that because you won't leave. I was like, yeah, that's a good point. If I can do my hot laps inside. Yeah, 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 buddy. LDD ain't leaving. You, you, the big no, dog LDD goes from the couch to the pad. Yeah, buddy. You, you need – get outside. Come on. The yeah. weather's good. I know. I love being outside. I just thought if I can't fit in, you know, a quick, quick hot girl lap, when, I can do it in the lounge. not be able to fit that in? I am – Flat out, Judge. <laughs> I am flat out. Hey, you want to know what I did yesterday? Oh, what? I went up to Tours and had some chocolate. Oh, darling. And sat and talked shit with her for three oh, hours. darling. And then I came home and, and unpacked a, a suitcase of clothes. And then by that time, it was dinner time. You were pooped, mate. And then I got, I got a facial from Facial, great place in Bondi Junction if you can get your skin done. And then I came home and I thought, my God, it's time for the couch. Yeah, that's a big day. Sorry, mate. Sorry to pull you up on that because okay. that's fucking huge for you. And what did you do? Fuck all. Got some cheese and crackers, did you? Didn't have time, doll. I'm chill very hard and great. I was very... <laughs> I'm chill. I'm chill, hungry little boy who's going to get some pizza shapes and, and cheese after this. I'm chill. <laughs> I'm chill. <laughs> Oi, back to my revelation. Good. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this justice. But I saw this video the other day of a boyfriend and a girlfriend sitting in the car and him learning about how pads are used. Mm. So the pad, 
The pad, where does it sit? The pad sits on your undies. Yeah, didn't know that. So he thinks it's stuck to your... That's what I thought. That's exactly... What? But how? Because you'd I, what, I, I, So you'd I, I, get the I, I, sticky I, I, side I, of the pad I did not, and I, stick it on the outside of your vagina? I've never... <laughs> You're you, fucking 33, mate! How many pads do you reckon I've held in my hand? Z- let me give you that tip. Zero. I thought it would like went over the over, over your vagina. <laughs> you stick it on your undies and it like it. holds dude, the leakage. Dude. To be fair, I haven't used a pad since I was like twelve. Well, I st- obviously still had to use them. I still no. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you not learn that in school? Nah. Sexy doesn't it blew my where mind. a pad goes. It, that blew my mind. Do I you know where a tampon goes? Nostrils. <laughs> if you got a bleeding nose, what about the other thing? In your money. Yeah, but where? Up it. Yeah. In the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wicking out. This is making me feel weird. You're like, in the hole. Am I, am I wrong? You're right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this, this is an educational podcast, yeah. see? I honestly. It's th- sex ed edition today. Uh, uh, honestly, Get the banana and the condom. <laughs> You'd be a pro at that. It honestly. <laughs> what? Jill listens to this podcast. Sorry, Jill. She I honestly thought. I honestly thought. I didn't know that it went on the undies, and I think you're thirty-three. Of, this kid didn't either. He was like, "How what old the, was he? 19? 25. I just thought go it. Go home and do some research, would you? I would prefer not to. <laughs> Where does a pad go? <laughs> like it just blew my. Tobs, you know that? Yeah, I did. I don't know how I knew, but. I well, knew. it's kind of common knowledge. Like, Not for me, man. I honestly had to like check myself and be like, fucking hell, man, I'm embarrassed, but I was the same as that guy. Red light, green light. Heavy metal version. Yeah. Dig it. I like it. You go first. You want me to go first? Little senorita pad boy. Okay, red light, green light. This is from Ben, I'm going to say Chittenden, a, a, a famous bedwetter. Telling someone... That you had a sex dream about them. <sighs> do, do you keep it to yourself or do you tell them? I'm orange on this. Okay, it depends who it. it is. Yeah. I mean, if you're, you know, I wouldn't be going and telling you like university lecturer. Hey, by the way, I had a sex dream last night. Yep, fair. Bananas were involved. Let's say a work colleague. It depends on the relationship. I think it's honestly dip, 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 dip. Dependent. <laughs> Remix. D- d- depends on the relationship. D- d- depends on the relationship. D- 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 depends on the relationship. Depends on the Rello sex dream. Relationship. Relationship. Remix. It's Chippy and Flippy at 9 a.m. Chippy and Flippy 9 a.m. Depends on the relationship. Okay. Okay. Sex dreams with Dippy and Zobo. Yeah, yeah, Dippy and Zippy. Now, I agree with you. Yeah. Like, if I had a sex dream about, like, a good mate or, like, someone who I'm clo- I'd probably tell them just for a laugh. Yeah. And if it was obviously about a, a partner. I'm trying to think of the last sex dream I had. It was Tobbs. Yeah. It was with Tobler. And guess what? That boy goes. Was, was that a dream? It, Pads oh, involved? that wasn't a dream. That was last Tuesday. Yeah. Were there pads involved? <laughs> if they were, if they were I'd have no idea how to fucking utilise them. <laughs> you just had them on your arms like <laughs> yeah, that yeah, Correct. <laughs> that Libra ad. Um, pew, pew, pew. No, I, I'm with you. I think it depends on the relationship. Yeah. I, like you're not going to go out of your way and text it, you know, fling from three months ago. Hey, had a sex dream about you, champion. No. Mummy like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. want to make that a reality. Yeah. But, yeah, I agree. It's tough. Because even with work colleagues, you've got work colleagues that are like your fucking mates. Yeah. Your moiters. Yeah. You know what I mean? It definitely depends on the relationship and depends hey, mate, on the circumstance. In. Come, please, sit hey, with Tom, us. Hey, Tom, Tom. We've got, got a question for two you. Two. Come, come yeah. and sit here. Two Bermo. Come and sit here. Red light, green light. Come and sit here. Question for you. Get here. I'm dressed like Eddie's. Yeah, Perfect. Can. Sit down, please, kind sir. Take a seat. Hi, guys. How you doing? Yeah, really well. What do, you, what do you think on... Um, Telling someone you had a sex dream about them. Red light or green light? Oh, or, or, or otherwise. Anyone. Could be your no, local barista. Well, it dep- no, I'd say it's a... Listen, if, if a chick who I thought was attractive said it to me, green light all the way. It's as green as it gets. 
<laughs> yeah, that's if, a good point. If I'm not, it's a little bit like, okay. Like, thank what you. About like, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. about like if it was like a colleague or an ex-fling? Hey, you had a sex dream about you. Ex-fling, play on. It depends. Mm. Like if it's a, if there's like a sexual, you're like well, that's nice to know that someone's thinking about me sexually, right? Like even yeah. subconsciously, it's subconscious. Well, but like they're still thinking about you, and usually sex dreams, I hope, are good, right? Like, mm. yeah, well, are. not always. I've never had a wet dream. Though. Neither have I. Neither. What? I thought all boys had no. them all the time. Apparently, your studs don't. Yeah, yeah. It's about like testosterone levels. Yeah, if you, I heard alpha. losers don't. Oh, no, 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 no. It's right. Apparently, alpha male studs yeah. don't have. Women. But don't yeah. guys get them at like twelve? Yeah, like cowards. Mm, but apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alpha male studs with huge cocks don't. Yeah. Get them, or just, or just, or like just cocks. I they heard tiny. No, huge, huge, I, I heard huge. tiny penises. It's quite hard to mm. get them because. I you tell know, you what, okay. I would. It's quite hard to get them up. There is a part of me though that's like I want one. I would love to be like, oh, dude. have like a mad gas, dude. Dude, Please because I've never had never do that. Again. <laughs> dude, if oh. you want to ask me, sometimes if you're having I'm a so dream, like so like you've got Rosie Huntington Wiley, uh, R- R- Rosie Huntington Get a name right, mate. In bed, you want to be having a sex dream and going. Oh. <laughs> like know. like Will Ferrell in that chair when he's trying <laughs> to drink the wine. <laughs> You guys sound like Dracula. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> but I also think back to think if it's a dude saying to a chick, it's a bit how you going. Yeah. I know that's maybe that's sexist. I don't know. Oh, okay. Sue me, but that's a bit how you going. I've never had anyone tell me they've had a sex dream. Probably because no one ever has. Oh, buddy. Aww. <laughs> I, I just sucked in. Nerd. You going to elaborate on? No, I just I've had people. I've had sex dreams about me. I thought you were saying you'd had one about me. Oh! I was like... Oh. I thought you said that as well. Oh, yeah. shit. I was, I was like, a bit like, okay, oh, this is a no, bit... No, I I'm now in the middle of something. Let's expand on this. <laughs> I wondered why you got so quiet. I'm well, like... Well, because it sounded like you were saying that. It sounded like you were being the red light guy. I just thought you guys didn't believe anyone had had a sex dream about me, and I was honestly a little bit... Hurt. Oh, God. Like, oh, so you're like, no, people have, people have definitely Everyone had sex dreams about me. about me. I've been oh, told. Oh, that's so lame, dude. <laughs> You can leave. Oh, dude, no, no, heaps of people have had sex rooms about me too. Your time is done. <laughs> thank time you is so much. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks hey. so much. Hey, hi, bedwetters. I'm Tom. Mwah, mwah. Hi, thank Tom you. Tom from Hello Sport. Thank you. Yeah, boss. Thank you. Yeah. I'm your daddy. <laughs> I'm your daddy. No, I like to call you my boss so I can call you, like I can say, fuck off, you cunt. But you, I'm saying that to my boss. Like, yeah. I'm hard. Eat shit. That's All offensive. Right. Well, that was cool. That got us going a little. We got a little pumped oh, up. Did it? <laughs> mm. Like I just had a wet dream. Let's see what's going on here, little senorita. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe you're having your first one. Ooh, Se- senorita. Mm. Now, what do you got for me? Okay, red light, green light. Swapping which side of the bed you sleep on. Red. I saw a TikTok where this woman. Obviously, she sleeps on her own. Oh, you could do it with your partner, I guess. And they they swap. She swaps sides. So one night she'll be on the left, the next night she's on the right. Sorry, but you have your side and you stick with it. Oh, see, I thought you meant like as a couple. Like singular, you can the bed's yours, right? But I'd no, still but get in on a side. That's what I mean. You but get I might on, end up on the left in my sleep. Trust me, I've got a king bed. I end up on, I'm always on my normal side. But then I'll roll over to the other side. It'll take me a few days because my king bed's very large. Huge. But Kevin has his side and i got my side. Yeah. Yeah. But I roll around and he rolls around. She's the around big dog the other day, big king bed. Kevin. I've got, got another toy now as well. The womanizer. <laughs> the womanizer has a draw, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> if it's on the other side of the bed, you're like, fucking great. I've three day oh. trek till I can get my womanizer Kevin, out. Kevin, get that out, will you? Kevin. <laughs> Get out and don't use it on yourself again. Like last time, you selfish little bastard. Um, swapping the sides, like as a couple, is uh, blasphemy. Yeah, so you wouldn't, Steph, wouldn't be like, oh, swap sides. Yeah, I think she's tried to do that before, oh, no. and I was like, you fucking, are you, you have sick? your side and you stick to it. Yeah, you can get fucked, mate. That's it. It's over. Once but you've chosen, how do you pick your side? I don't know. I just let her pick hers. Can I say something? Actually, I've, I've obviously just moved into my new place. And I think I've I've I think I've swapped sides. Have you? You're a lesbian now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Actually, no, I take it back. I just was trying to work out my left and rights from the door entry. No, I'm just an idiot. We're fine. <laughs> I'm on the safe side. That's how this usually ends up. I'm on the same side. side. We're fine. Safe we're all good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Now, this one comes in from other bedwetter Mariah Lane. Oh, use the other people's work again. Oh, you're flat out. Can't come up with his own. No, I just like to get involved with the bedwetters, <laughs> whereas you just want them to listen and never in. Of yourself oh, is that right? Um, I always take photos if I see a bedwetter and I'll always DM nice bedwetters back. So go fuck yourself. Hey, bedwetters, if you're getting DMs from the Wear Meanwhile account, it's me. No, it's not. It isn't Lou. She doesn't care about you. Um, so, hey, Mariah, hey, that's how hey, I find. while we're on the topic, who's been to upload to Instagram and who's been doing majority of it? <laughs> LDD. Yeah. But sometimes you just upload it and I'm like getting one to upload and then I look on the thing, it's already uploaded. Disagree. Disagree. That's happened. But you're right. You've been taking control. Thank you. And I'm proud of you. Thank but you. also sometimes when I'm going to upload, because I like to upload at about 8 o'clock at night. Yeah, I'll get there at 7.30. Lou, I have been bad. You're right. Thank you. That's but it also I takes two to tango. <coughs> And you've taken too much control now, so back, off, so back off. Well, start uploading at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. That's our peak times. 8 p.m. I apologise. It's okay. I'm glad we had this conversation. <laughs> On air. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the air. Save it for the air. Mariah Lane, a famous bedwetter, as you'd know. People who post photos of their friend's birthday. We know what Lou does. I've got to say green because I know I've what done Lou it. does. What, what all do girls it. do. This is what all females do. But I only do it for very close friends on my actual page, and and then, and then close, like close. I was on green, close friends. Correct. I know, and it will be a tremendous photo of you, and a subpar photo I of the friend. I don't do that. <clears throat> and a subpar I photo of the friend. Do not do that, Senorita. I'll upload just a standard ugly photo of them. Me not in it. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> that's like, not what I expected. Yeah, no, that's what I'll do. Yep. I won't post a nice, hot looking one. I'll find the ugliest photo I can find of my best friend and chuck it up. Because there is just, there is a plethora of like every, t and it's happened fucking so many times. You could post. I am in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> 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 I love when you do that and it's like you don't even change conversation pitch or anything. I am in the <laughs> You know I felt myself interrupt. Yeah, I know. I'm I could so see. Sorry. I was waiting for it. So sorry. Oh, I hurt my gut. Please Oh yeah. No, like the side of it like a cramp or something. Please go forth. Um doth this conversation. Oh. So what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> fuck me. Something about girls uploading photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it, it, it is actually laughable how much it happens. It'll be like, oh my God, without this chick, I would be nothing. And then it's this the chick that's posting, it's standing there with like fucking belliage, fresh blow dry, makeup all done. And then her friends to the side of her, like looking like that hunchback oh. from 300 on the top of a cliff <laughs> with like a staff and a big cape being like, I will betray you. <laughs> Like, it is wild how much that happens, dude. It's unbelievable. I will. <laughs> or like fucking Gollum on a rock with a full fish in their mouth. You had to choose that one, Becky. Fuck's sake. <laughs> My favourite, yeah, the, the comments are always funny. Being like, the sweetest, kindest, most selfless, yeah, loving yeah. angel. <laughs> Just right, happy birthday, cunt. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> like, it's so, that is so true. That's the difference between blokes and birds. I'm not over the cape. <laughs> <laughs> on a cliff, she got an eye patch on and shit. <laughs> Fucking dirt all over her. No shoes on. Hairy feet. <laughs> Oh. oh, I'm laughing and like ro <coughs> roasting people, but like I'm one of the people yeah, I'm yeah. roasting. Like, so I do selfless, that. so selfless, so selfless, Queen. Red light, green light. Going to the self serve checkout of the supermarket with more than fifteen items. <sighs> Mate, I've probably done it with more than fifteen. But if I see some fucker going in with a trolley, I'm like, you fuckhead. Green. Oh, but I'm only ever having a basket. Basket is, dude, you can pile up a basket for all I care. If you go on trolley, you're a sicko. But also, most people find the self-serves um, annoying. 
Do they? If you've got that many products. Well, that's what I mean. Just go to the fucking thing with a trolley, you know? I just always go self-serve. I never do oh, huge I like shops. A, now I feel like a McDonald's self-serve <laughs> with a flake. <laughs> Your turn. Red light, green light. Bedtimes for adults. This comes with a yarn. What do you mean? Like bedtime routines? No, bed, a bedtime. Oh, so, like, so I me, and Ste- me and Steph got into it the other day. I give myself a bedtime. Would you give it as someone else a bedtime? As in like you're out on a Friday night. And you're no, like, no, you're in the house. And so she's gone, time for bed. Yeah. I love it. It's I don't. Green. green is green. Time for bed. I wonder if the shoe was on the other foot, you'd be if you had a boyfriend in the house and he goes, You're watching a movie out in the living room. He goes, Louisa, time for bed. I'd and say, you go, sorry, mate, I'm I'm watching a I'm halfway through the, this film. He goes, I don't it's ten thirty, it's a Wednesday night. Bed. What would you do? Go fuck yourself. Exactly right. So you're red. The other night. <laughs> it's amazing. Steph, from Steph, from Steph, I'm upstairs playing PlayStation. Playing golf. Having a blast. It's a Wednesday. Why it's are you t- playing golf? You shit. Playing golf on the PlayStation. That's where I can really win. Playing golf, having a blast, enjoying myself. Had I had a whiskey? I had. Shock horror. But guess what, mama? That's fucking life. So I'm you sitting are up there. Flat out. I'm flat out like a lizard drinking. Now I'm sitting up there having a great time. She goes, Judge. She goes, turn it off. Bed. You gotta come down to bed. <laughs> and I go, who the fuck are you talking to? And she goes, it's 10 30. And I go, yeah, I know, buddy. It's 10.30 or 10 o'clock or whatever. She goes, no, I want you in bed. And I go, I'm like, and I go, no, I'm not going to fucking bed. I'm a fucking adult. Like, I'm a fully grown adult male. And, mate, we got in a stink. We got in a fucking blue. She, she was just like, mate, it's, it's 10.30 on a Wednesday night. And I was just like, imagine... Um, I said, yeah, it is. And I'm in my own house, upstairs. I was like, just you go to bed, I'll be there. Like, I was like, and then I like had, I was like, fuck it. I said, well, no, nah, I'm going to go out right now to the pub. And I'm going to go and get fucked up to the pub. And I'll be out of the pub. Would you be happy with that? No. Yeah, so I'm in the house. So be happy I'm in the house. Like, she tried to she impose a bedtime on me. I'm like, y- you know how... I was like, my mum wasn't even this fucking stringent as a child. <laughs> I can just imagine her at the bottom of the stairs. Judge, honestly, come down. It's time for bed. She was yelling, yeah, yelling up at me, and then I was going, "Nah." I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "Who the fuck are you talking to? Get out of here!" And then I hear ring, 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 and she <laughs> climbs up the stairs. She goes, "Oh, what? The, how many have you had? How many of those have you had?" She goes, "You're drunk." I'm like, "I'm not drunk." You were little pissed. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that from Steph. I don't. That's amazing. It was fucked, mate. I hope she keeps doing that. No, no, no. I haven't let her live it down. Hey, no one's got to tell me to go to sleep. Because I live on my own. God damn it. Kevin? Hey, Lou. Oh, fuck. Time for bed. You. This is supposed to be an uplifting podcast for the bedwetters. We're trying to make them laugh, buddy, not bring nah, it. I love living on my own. I'll never live with anyone, ever. I'll get married and have a separate house. <laughs> want to stay at mine tomorrow night? Lucky guy. Yep. Actually, you know what? Let That'd it. be fucking awesome. Yeah, you want to stay at mine tonight? We're staying at yours. Nah, I'm having a night to myself. See ya. Bye-bye. That would be fucking Mwah. pretty cool, actually. Kiss from windows. You'd have like wind- your bedroom windows would be closed. Mwah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> That's actually the perfect thing for you because then you don't have to touch them. I you, judge, you know what you I'm should fine touching you, dude. Every I reckon. Now and then. I reckon when you get a full-on fucking like boyfriend, husband, you'll pretend that you're still really scared of COVID, so you'll have a screen in the middle of your bed, <laughs> and you'll be like, "Night, babe," and you'll just both have to kiss the glass and then roll over to your respect. Sorry, this COVID thing just really shook me. No handshakes either. Yeah. keep those away. Yeah, hazmat suits with holes cut out. <laughs> <laughs> That bad with a f- touch and affection. No, buddy, we've been through it. You are, and that's just life. Ah, all right. Can't even try and paint myself in a good light. <laughs> so, really red light, me. green light. Hand feeding someone at a restaurant. Are you fucking serious, mate? <gasps> no, like let me paint a picture. N- no, 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 paint let it. Let me paint a picture. This will be a Jackson Pollock, not a fucking Dali. I'll give you the odd tip. It's like you, you someone art humor. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what did you say? Don't worry. Oh, well, I don't care. Yeah, I know you won't, so don't worry about it. Continue. <laughs> well, I want to know. <laughs> it's just... No, let me Pollock in on the throws joke. paint all over his paintings. It's a mess. Salvador Dali creates beautiful, surreal, uh, surrealistic artworks or whatever. Right. He's a surrealist. Yeah, I, he's on my frame TV. Correct. Now, please, conti- paint me so a picture. Sorry. Paint me a picture. So sorry, I'm an idiot. Um, say you say you've ordered a palmy and I've ordered a steak, and you're like, and I go, can I have a can I have a nettle jarch? And you cut off a perfect little square for me. You add some mashed potato to it, perhaps dip it in some sauce, and then you pass the fork over the table, and I go, no, yum yum, no, green, red, green, I'm not feeding green. you. Well, you could pass me the fork. Technically, that's what I do. You wouldn't put it in my. M- <laughs> <laughs> well, just, where we are, back off. So you wouldn't put the fork in my <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. We can do this. We're it's adults. Sure. You wouldn't put the fork in my mouth. Right. <laughs> 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 we are twelve. Um No, oh not God. in not in front of people. Just pass it See, over. See, this is the thing. I'm a coward. At home, if we're having dinner, I'd probably go to Steph like Oh, there's an aeroplane coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm out in public, there's zero chance I'm feeding another fucking human being in front of other humans. Not a chance, bud. I do Especially you've got to pick it up and like feed them. No, I like, do Here's a chip, darling. Here's a chip. I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Let me like just if pick I, one up. I definitely, definitely would. See, that's something. odd to me because you are so non like that. What do you mean? Non affection. It's fucking food in my mouth. Yeah, true. You do make a lot of, uh, yeah, okay, a lot of concessions when there's food going into your mouth. Absolutely. Any way you can get it. <laughs> Conce- like concession slots. No? No? <laughs> Let's skim past that comment. <laughs> Let's just. Yeah, sh- slide right just past sh- it. Sh- no, I just, I, just, I, I just don't think, I just think, like, don't do that. It's the same as like when people are too affectionate out in public. But it's that's I know what you mean. It's not like I'm trying to be like the lady and the tramp. You are though. With the that's spaghetti. how it comes across. No, but it's more like I do it with like tour or like someone I was out for dinner with. Cut that's, that that's off. Something Pass me I'd watch. <laughs> no, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. You guys free tonight? <laughs> you go to the Rojo? I just like get to the Rojo and there's just a platter of finger food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, girls, I'm not that hungry. You girls just go for it. You go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, Lou. <laughs> I'm just like uh, this. It's got your camera. Sweet. Yeah. You know I got it. Lou, give, 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 to, give to one of the pickles. Give one of the pickles. <laughs> the way no. you're holding me. <laughs> <laughs> you very naughty, aren't you? I just had to clap. Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you very naughty? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me let me let me sign on. Hey, to the hey let me guess. We're going rogue. You got it, sister. <laughs> 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 the kids onto it. Oh, I can only hear you in one ear. Hello, hello. J- j- just, just um. Twist it. Twist it a bit. Twist it. Pop it. Drop it. Hello, hello, hello. Mine's got right. ya. You got me. Got ya. Okay. Lulu hungry. I've been selling my soul. Work. You play that song. It's like when just because it's up there. But you know when you would um, back in the day there was that thing where you would um, <laughs> <laughs> you know you two would play every time you'd start your iPod. That's what that song reminds me of. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did that U two iPod. You know, you know what I mean, right? Oh, one came in two minutes ago. Yep. Do it. I'm Ready? just deleting my old red light, green lights, because otherwise we had the problem where I repeated myself, which happens daily. True. Hi, guys. It's me again. I've calmed down now since the whole Dory situation and um, me going on about the merch. Anyway, fuck, what was I calling to say? I'm watching your most recent episode. Oh, episode 85, which... Real life Dory. Yeah, yeah most recent one. While well, waiting for the new one to come out. Anyway, I have a question. What are you guys planning on doing for your 100th episode? Hmm. Surely something fun. Ooh. Cool. Should, yeah, good question, Dal. Like, I don't know, like, what? I don't have any ideas, but, like, something cool, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Anyway. Uh, 
Yeah. Yep. Oh, I guess. Tremendous finish. Really yeah. finished strong there, Dale. Well, this is episode 86. Four. Someone someone work out the maths of how long. Seven or eight weeks. Seven or eight weeks? How many episodes? 14 episodes, so seven weeks. Yep. Okay, well, let's create something big. I want, like, a giant hundred balloon and and us dressed in something fun. What should we do for the hundred there? Because... Should we do it live from somewhere? (gasps) Oh, let's do that. Not live, but, like, let's record it from somewhere. Somewhere fun. The Rojo. Let's do the podcast from the Rojo. Oh, my God, we're doing the podcast from the Rojo. The hundred set from the Rojo. Let's figure out the date. Well, I'm not any good at maths, and neither are you, and neither is Tobbs. So yeah, we're shit out of luck here. So if it's seven weeks away, Tobbs, let's have a crack now. Let's just have a little oh, geese. <laughs> seven weeks means that <laughs> it would be. So we're Tuesday now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the twenty fourth of October is the Tuesday, but we'd have to do it on the Thursday, like a Friday, Thursday. Done. The Wednesday. Sold live from the Rojo. I'll call them. Well, I'll just walk straight in. They know you, bud. They know Just me. say, I want this area, this area, this area. And I want, Stat. I want waffle fries. I want the duck pancakes. The, and I cheeseburger, want the little sh- sh- cheeseburger spring rolls. And I also want the little um, spicy wings. Spings. Oh, we love the spicy wings. Well, you yeah, we know you do. We didn't, you didn't like it when I... No, buddy, I did not. Dipped, double dipped them when I was blind drunk and you were dead sober. Um, now, <laughs> that's a great question. Thank you for your call. Sorry we missed your call about bloody whatever you'd call about before, but that's life. Um... Next one. Yes, please. Cool. I'm excited about our 100th episode. Completely understand normalising adult bedwetting. My late 30-year-old brother still wet to bed and his girlfriend has to remind him every night after a big night, to make, sure you go to, make sure you go to the toilet, please. <laughs> and, you know, he's, he's nearly 40 years old. So, completely understand. <laughs> We all think he's a massive fucking baby, but my mum still protects him as most mothers do um, and encourages her own son to go to the toilet after a big night of drinking. <laughs> fucking pathetic, mate. <laughs> mate, that's, that's ripper. Amazing. Do you reckon she saw the sign today? Maybe. Because it was normalised that old bed where, I mean, that was the fucking sign. 100%. She, she must have. I, um, I'll still make myself go to the bathroom like twice before I go to sleep, just on a regular night. It's like a paranoia thing. What would you do? Sorry, I didn't... Go to the toilet probably two times before I go to sleep. Really? Yeah, I'll just run the gauntlet and if it happens, the bed, it happens in the bed, kid. That's true bedwetting. Morning, cunt. It's the <laughs> fold-out lounge bedwetter here. Love um, that. Just wanted to pick a bone with you guys. Uh, your fucking vocabulary is getting into my everyday life and it's really <laughs> starting to affect me. I have a three-year-old daughter... Sucker. ...who... Always calls me daddy. And every time she calls me daddy, I have this urge to turn to my missus and just go, I'm, I'm daddy, daddy, by the way. <laughs> I just got quit behind the fucking ears because of it. Anyway, oh. it is what it is, then you die. Correct. Oh, got to hit the 22 skidoo. Kangaroo got things to do. <laughs> oh, my God. Now. Can't. What a great amazing. call. She's going, daddy. He's- I'm daddy, by the way. <laughs> it's a ripper. Please keep doing that to your miso. Uh, we need that in our life. Okie dokie, smoky chokey. Let's go, this fella. G'day, bedwetters. Ooh. Just had a thought. You guys keep saying the old, uh, don't chew. Oh, yes, <laughs> don't chew. It's very cool. I like it. It's fucking great. You're also doing the old, uh, no, as I just saw from the episode that I watched last night. Yep. Um, combine the two, Yeah. Just a little bit of a, don't show. Yes, don't you? I'm sure. Yes, I think it's good. You might not. You don't. Fuck you. Anyway, Mate. Keep up the great work. You guys are fucking great. I love you both. Fucking oh, killing it. Love you love too, you. buddy. That's a fucking perler. Don't show. I'm sure. No, don't show. <laughs> Holy fuck me swinging. This will be the That's death criminal. of us. Oh, You're Toby's very good at podcast. Dead. You're very good at podcast, aren't you? Aren't you? And, and, and you I'm miss Toby. You girl. miss Toby, don't you? I'm hungry, aren't you? Aren't you? No. No. Oh, fuck. No. Can't believe we sound like that. Well, I don't. I'm from New Zealand. Ah, uh, you're still a bit of it in you. Um, I think my buttons unpop. Nah, we're good. Okie dokie. Let's bloody have a little look. Mm, 
producing it, it's fine. Now, let's have a little... Oh, sorry, 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 you sweet angel. Let's try this. Hey, Josh, hey, Lou. How you going, you fucking gulp? <laughs> um, I've just... It's taken me a couple months to catch up um, with the podcast. I started from one. And, um, yeah, I've just caught up today. And um, can you, what, hurry up and put another fucking episode out? Because I'm getting <laughs> bored at work. Oh, well, yeah. Aww. Cheers. Appreciate you, bro. That's... Oh, we're do, we are doing it. We're doing it for him. You're on it now. Yeah. So you're on the next episode. I love that people have also gone back and started the potty again. It's great. I would hate to know what we spoke about. We are the bit hypocritical. Everything we've said now that we don't like, we probably liked in episode three. Oh, Lou. It is pure contradictions. Remember, I vividly remember us being like, who would drive a convertible? I'm thinking about getting one. I'm thinking about getting that little Fiat 500 convertible. I'd drive one. I wouldn't say no. Wind in my hair. Yep. Sun yeah. on my skin. Yeah. Driving. Oh. oh, sorry. Just got some notifications. Very popular. Debt collectors. Debt collectors. Debt collectors. Debt, debt collectors. Okay, one more. Yes, please. Let's see what you got here. Mate, we fucking love you, Dachi. Fucking big dick energy. <laughs> Mate, just want to leave you with a saying. Day old saying, mate, lead a horse to water. Still need a stepladder to fuck it in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you, Jackie. You have such big, big energy and we love you. Can't Lucy. be hurt. Yeah, we can. No, we can't. can't. Woo! Woo! That's a huge one. That's I actually fun. know that saying. It's a great old adage. That's not a good saying. You don't think so? No. I'm going to get that. Whoever loses the next race has to get that tattooed across their Absolutely upper back. Absolutely not a chance. <laughs> Hey, love that I was getting BDE there. See, anyone would think that I'd gone through and starred that and chosen it. You probably it. did. But that was just random. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. It was random. That was so random. No, I swear I swear on Toby's. It did it was. Toby's. Toby's well, what, what oh. energy uh, to, to finish on. Uh, <laughs> just whatever. Follow us on We Mean Well, TikTok, Instagram, at Louisa Delton, at Jarchi89. That video should hopefully be up soon. At Thomas Tobler. Yep. Which we've learnt. Which is not Tobler, it's Tobler. Yeah, which the Hello Tobler. Sport Boys have absolutely fucking gaslit me into believing it's Tobler for my whole life. Appreciate you. Tobler. Tobler. Oh, my legs are tight. It's not about what's easy, it's mm. about what's right. Correct, Tobs, exactly right. That's in right. the age-old adage. Yes. You can lead a horse so too. So so you've yeah, always... Yeah, Juice. Yes. Anyway, ciao, ciao. Love you. Hooroo. Hooroo, bedwetters. Keep pissing, would you?